You see, after watching this trailer, it really made me feel like, man, they should have put It Man in the game. Or just Donnie Yen if you really want to try to make it more relevant to people's eyes. What's going on guys, Pranatus P here, and I'm here, not really much for a reaction video, this is more of like a discussion and my opinions on the trailer, and this is the Tekken 7 Season 3 patch trailer that just came out yesterday during EVO at the end of the Tekken 7 um, Top 8, which man, if you haven't checked it out, it's a must see, you definitely need to see that some good ass fucking tech. And so, um, Harada and Michael Murray went up on stage and they announced that they have a season three pass for Tekken 7. And we have a returning character and some more characters coming along the way and a brand new character, which his name is Leroy Smith, who's a brand new original character in the series. Sorry, there's some shit going on outside. It's kind of something that took me a little bit off guard with the new character, but I was like, no, I'm all right, I'm cool with this because, you know, I guess this is them doing something a little different instead of just, you know, introducing us to a new guest character like they did last time and the year before that. But they probably still will do guest characters. We'll just have to wait and see. But let's just try to get started with this thing. And actually, before I actually get this whole trailer and stuff started the link is in the description below so i just want to let y'all know that because every single reaction video that i do there will be a link to it to the original video that i'm watching on so you guys can watch it yourself after you want to watch it multiple times and give your analysis and your ideas of what you think might be occurring in the future it's there in the description box so check it out see what you think and then you know let's have a conversation about it so let's get started with this trailer These two guys really like punching each other in the face, do they? Of course, this is sort of like stuff from the TWT World Finals last year in Amsterdam. This was definitely a, it was a sick ass time though. Man, man, really, really, really good. The rain doing the whole thing with Panda. It was really, really crazy to a lot of people. Season 3 begins. Oh, All right, so a major update with new news for all characters. Well, this new character is going to set a new news. Really intrigued to see what those news are going to be when they get home. So, I'll come up with the Raging Demon. Ah! In go! You happy, Safina fans? You got the character now. So now you got all the Tekken 6 characters in the game. Like, there's nobody else from Tekken 6 that you can bring back. This is your fit. I thought this was actually interesting. This is from Azrael. That was the final boss in Tekken 6. It was like something had occurred around the time of that Tekken 6 and 7 of her getting that bomb. This is the brand new character. I'm not going to read all this because it's going to go by too damn fast. <laughs> And at first, I thought this was Wang for the shortest time. I thought this was like, is this Wang? And I was like, no, this is a brand new character. 
Now, I recognize the style because I've been watching a lot of Hitman. Shout out to Dunyan. I don't know why I think of who they be asking. He doesn't know. Maybe he doesn't enjoy it. Maybe he doesn't enjoy it. And I'll be honest, after seeing this, it just kind of makes me think, like, man, if they didn't have this original character, I would have been cool with Donnie in betraying this Hitman for this game. That would have been so fucking sick. Alright, so in September, we got the two characters, and then in the winter 2019, we got a character in the future, and then in the spring of 2020, we have a new character in stage. So, hmm, that's what we got. Alright. Still kind of want Hitman though. <laughs> After seeing him, After seeing Leroy Smith, like holy shit. Okay, so that's pretty much the trailer in the nutshell. Um, yeah, so we got a new season, which it was predicted that it was going to get a new season because of the success that it's bringing. The because it just sold over four million units and another milestone for that game because that game is just so fucking good and watching it in a competitive like standpoint just seeing the competitors go at it is just a fucking treat because it's almost like any character can be so good that you can win a tournament with them and that really says a lot for the game unlike other games that i see in fighting games that really you see the same as that characters left and right but you know there's a variety of Tekken and i really appreciate that we have safina who is the returning character from tekken 6 who played a bit of a role in Tekken 6 with Azarel in knowing like you know the future and all what's going on and you just see her arm. Her arm looks like the same exact arm as Azarel. Um that was the final boss in Tekken 6. And I wanna know how that ended up coming about. Like I know they're not gonna do like a particular story with her, but I at least wanna know the liner notes of how she ended up possessing it and why she has it. That's really intriguing. And we got the brand new character, Leroy Smith, which the style is so recognizable if you've been watching like a lot of Hitman or Grandmaster um, or Donnie Yen portraying as Hitman is Wing Chun. And it's really eye opening that no one had that style yet. Now that I think about it, because I don't think, well, actually, maybe there's been a couple of characters in fighting games, maybe someone from the Virtual Fighter series, I think, that had that style. It's just, just haven't really thought about it like that. But now that we see it, we see this original character, we see as someone who was a young man that ended up going missing and that lost his friends, lost his family, and went missing for 50 years, and now that he's come back for revenge, and he's just this old black man just with jewelry glistening around his neck and he got a ring on his finger and he's just gonna fuck some shit up <laughs> and so yeah i'm definitely would be interested in trying out that character just seeing how he plays and just see how people will gravitate towards him i haven't really looked at the responses of how people feel about him but i think there's a positive response because i think harada um even tweeted out talking about how there's like a positive reception towards the trailer when the trailer popped up, so I think it's pretty good. Now on to the interesting stuff. Now it's towards speculations. Who are the other two remaining characters? What is the features and what is the stage? Well, I'll start with the features. I don't know what the feature really is, <laughs> so I can't really give you a straight up answer for that. Um, since they already did the wall bounce, that's really something that they introduced in last season. Huh. I don't really know. I can't really think off the top of my head. I'm not really sure. I can't even think of anything from... I don't think there was really anything from the previous games that they had anything that stood out. No, I don't think so. I, I really can't tell you anything what that feature is. So it's just kind of like up in the air. So I'll just like, you know, just wait until someone brings it up and then maybe I'll come back to you guys about it. Now for characters, uh, there isn't really no any more characters in Tekken 6 to really bring back. Really, there's no other characters. There's only three new characters, three, three main new characters to bring back. Which is Savina, 
Bob, and Leo. Those are the only three characters that was in Tekken 6. And so the roster's complete for that. Maybe a regular Raven if you really want to kind of like put it that way because they brought back Anna and because Nina was in the game and they brought back Anna last season. So probably I would say maybe, you know, original Raven that we saw him, aka West Snipes. And so <laughs> maybe he can make an appearance again, but I know some people will want some of their old favorites. Like, I know people might maybe want Kanimitsu, maybe Don Ryu, Samoan, I mean, not Samoan, damn, holy shit. The um, sumo wrestler, Don Ryu. Maybe he can come back, I don't know, but I don't know how much he can make. Because, I mean, I think he's kind of also kind of considered a joke to a degree. Um, but, I don't know. Um, I don't know what character I would personally want. I mean, the only character I probably would want was Jun Kazama. But I don't know, I would want it right now, maybe for a Tekken 8, to kind of like push out the story where Jin is going to go after the events of the ending of Tekken 7. So I probably would wait on Jun Kazama, or Jun Kazama, whatever you want to pronounce it. So that would probably be my pick, personally, just to see what the conclusion will be for his story down the line and see what that does just to see if he eventually reunites with his mother. So that would be my guess. And then the final character in the stage. Now, in my opinion, I think the final character in the stage is gonna be combined as a guest character. So there's gonna be maybe a guest character in the stage will be incorporated with it. And we've heard the talks, we've heard the discussions, we've heard a lot of people been talking about Kiryu Kazuma. Because he's a character that a lot of people that really want in the game, like he very much wanted, because people feel his style fits Tekken a lot, and I actually agree with that, especially playing the Yakuza series. His fighting style does fit a lot. Now, I wouldn't even be mad if they didn't put Kiryu and they would put Goro Machima, because his style fits it too, because of playing Yakuza 0. And that says a lot of his character. They can implement what he has done in that game and just put him in that way. But it really depends. But it would probably would be Kiryu Kazuma. I saw someone brought up the fact that they probably would want like Snake, which was a fucking was like a mind fuck because if you watch the top eight um, Tekken finals at Evo, like it was just like what the hell because you just hear the codec sound um, in what at the end of one of the matches. And it was the match between Anakin and me. And then right after me had won, then you hear the Kodak sound. And it was just like, what the fuck? Like, people start flipping the fuck out. And so, I don't know if it's really them trolling or them doing some shit and just trying to fuck with people or it's legit. But I don't know what that is. It's something. So I heard people talking about Snake. And then someone also brought up Dante, and I was like, please don't put Dante. I don't need a Devil May Cry character in a Tekken game, because I felt like he just would not fucking fit at all. Like, I mean, there may be some people that want it, but no, I don't think he fits at all. I would put him more in... I would put him more for really, like, a Soul Calibur game, or maybe Smash, since you got Bayonetta. So, I would really have Dante more for that. So, my choice would probably be Kiryu Kazuma, in my opinion. And then, actually, before I get to that, there was one other character, and I actually remember hearing Maximilian talk about this, Maximilian Dude. And he actually brought up the fact maybe Tifa Lockhart could make it in the game. Now, I would say that would probably be a big bombshell to drop as a guest character. And it would be a big bomb show, but I know people, if she gets in and Kiryu doesn't get in, I know people will probably be a little salty about it, but, I mean, you know, I probably would wait another year if they would do a season four. But my thing with that is, is that if they're going to drop Tifa as a guest character, I would wait on that, mostly because of the fact that I don't know how long Tekken 7 is going to last. I really don't, because if they are going to eventually kind of like like down the line, kind of like end it in development on it, and then eventually move on to the next Tekken game, or even the next game, which I do feel it probably will be at some point, Tekken Cross Street Fighter, I would save Tifa Lockhart for that, for a last major season, like, update of like guest characters, because that's when you just, boom, 
blow people's fucking socks off there. That's when I would probably wait. But I don't know if people would probably be patient for that, but... You know, Final Fantasy VII Remake is kind of almost here. It eventually will be here next year, but... You know, I would kind of wait for that to kind of, like, get people just, you know, holy shit, like, your mouth watery, you're so enticed, you're excited, you're just, like, shaking, you're nervous, you don't know what they're gonna do. I would save it for that. And I would give it to Kiryu because I felt like he's been trying to build, his, the series, the Yakuza series has really been building a bit of traction on itself to really bring it more into the Western audience since it was really Eastern audience focused. Because since, because after Zero had came out, people, a lot of people were really wanted to like, oh shit, like, I want to play this game. I want to play these games. Or I want to branch myself more, out more into the series itself. I knew of the Yakuza series, but I didn't really play them until Kiwami 1. And then eventually I played Zero, and I was like, man, I really need to get into this shit. Well, 2 was where I really wanted to be like, alright, I'm definitely going to invest in the series. No, 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 I take that back. It was the Super Best Friends R.I.P. Which got me into the Yakuza series, but that's another story for another time. But I feel like the Yakuza series has been building traction, and I felt like it would be really a disservice to them if they don't get the character for it. But we don't know when they're gonna bring Kiryu to a crossover video game, maybe in Tekken, or maybe in a virtual fighter game. I don't know, but I would go with Kiryu because I feel like, you know, people have been wanting it, people have been demanding for it, and I think he would probably be the best choice, and if Tifa would get into it, I think that would probably be the what the fuck choice, like, yo, I, was, I wasn't expecting it, but I was expecting it in a way, and so that's kind of like my decision, and for the stage, probably somewhere in Kamurocho in the Yakuza series, maybe like the rooftop or the city streets of Kamurocho. Like, or the Millennium Tower, like, depending on where you want to do it at, like, it's just, like, either way, like, I feel like they'll do somewhere in Camarocho. They got the areas, they got the character, they got the setting. It's all on them on what they want to do. So, that's pretty much me in a nutshell with my whole feel towards it. I think it's definitely good. I'm definitely interested in seeing Safina again. I'm definitely interested in seeing Leroy Smith getting interested to play as him with his Wing Chun fighting style, and I can't wait to see what this new feature is, because I really don't know what this feature is, so I can't really give sort of like a two cents of what it might be, and what the other um, DLC character is going to be, and the second DLC character is going to be, which I feel is going to be a guest character. That's my whole gist of this whole trailer that we got going on here. Like, I can't wait for Leroy. It's cool to see Safina again. Definitely wonder what the new mechanics are. And another character that's eventually coming after it. Or before it. I don't remember. I gotta look at it again. <laughs> but the second DLC, the DLC character, I'm definitely interested in more because I feel like that is a guest character. And it could be Kiryu, it could be Tifa, it could be any character that someone might think of the top of the head, but I mostly want Kiryu, mostly because I feel like, you know, his series is built in traction, and I think it would give, you know, the Yakuza series a rub. If Tifa doesn't get in it, I don't feel it will hurt her at all, because she is popular as it is. She can go in any type of fighting game if any company would want her, and that's why I kind of feel I don't have much of a big issue with Tifa not being in it, but I would have a little bit more of an issue with Kiryu not getting in it because I do feel like it's a missing opportunity to bring a character that I feel like fits just as much as a Geese Howard in a Tekken game. So that's pretty much me in a nutshell on that. But nothing against Tifa. I don't hate Tifa. I like Tifa. It's just I feel it wouldn't be a complete loss if she don't get in it. That's why Imperium has been talked about a little bit more than Tifa. That's all I'm saying. Nothing against her at all. So, But anyway, I'm Pranita Speed. This is my discussion, and I'll see you guys next time.